with Box to Glitch tour. Today we're gonna be doing a part two to our previous tutorial, which is uh, which is the level bar GUI thingy majingi. Now, all we really did uh, last tutorial, actually no, we did basically everything last tutorial. All we have to do now is basically make the level safe and the XP. So I think that should be it for the entire system. So for a level system, we just need it to be saved, and that's pretty much it. So if you want to know how to make uh, the actual GUI, the bar, and all of that, definitely be sure to check out uh, the previous video, the one right before this one. It should be, and uh, yeah. So actually, let's get started. So as you can see, before anything, if you want to actually implement the rank titles that I made, uh, I made a video on actually before the levels, um, the level video, the level bar GUI video. Um, what you want to do is actually let's see so i made a model for the rank titles let's see my models uh you want to insert this so i already have this but let's actually uh let's say you don't have this right you just inserted the model um you should put this in starter character script this should be the actual script for it so starter player starter character script i already have name tag so let's ungroup this it's the same thing name tag uh ungroup this in workspace uh this is the x this is also the xp giver bus or actually no this is a level giver oops what the hell why did i control you oh shoot did i mess this up <laughs> hold on a minute yeah that's weird okay uh this is just the XP giver, so we can actually just get the XP from this uh, brick right here. Um, did I actually make something? Did I mess something up? I'm not sure. Uh, whatever. Uh, put this in service script service. Now in here, you will, you will actually get the rank title model script right here, and you need this. The leader stats you won't really need this if you've made if you already made the leader stats uh, script for the level GUI. So the leader stats is really the same thing. All it is is adding the uh, the values of the stats, such as the level and XP. For this one, you don't really need this if you have already like the XP and level values that you put in the actual script we did uh, last video. So we don't actually need this script. We can delete this. And this in replicate sorter, this is the actual uh, billboard UI, the named UI. So we have this. So yeah, you only need one of these. But yeah. And that's for the rank cows, and after that, you're pretty much set to go. And yeah, so that's only for the rank title. Now, let's actually get started with the save the data saving. Now, I made a video on like the original video I made on data saving, uh, way back in I don't know, like a year ago. Uh, it does work, uh, but this video, I'm just gonna do a data saving, data saving tutorial just in case you might get lost or something because a lot of people can get lost easily. Uh, or just don't, don't, don't know what they're doing. So I'm just gonna teach you how you can actually make a data saving within this uh, Within this tutorial basically, so it's really the same thing just a bit different and all of this is really Saving data and loading data. So getting data from the player when they leave and then loading data in when they join back So let's actually start when they join back, but we're gonna need data store values or not data store um, We need the services actually so data store services. So first let's get the data store service. So local data store. Can't spell data store. Actually no, uh, call this is data store service or data data service whatever. Game get service. So this gets a service and then we, we're gonna need to get data store service. As you can see, you should press enter and it should work. And then local data equals data store service and then get data store so this gets a data store we make a new data store you can call this anything you can call this stats if you want to so now in the player add events you want to go all the way down here when you get everything now let's say now actually we do need a I think we do need a separate we do need separate variables so let's make two variables one is going to be called saved Saved level, then local, save XP. These are the two saved values that we got if the player has uh, any saved stats. So we're gonna do 
save uh actually first of all let's do uh okay yeah we're gonna set this to data store guessing now it might be going fast in case you might uh get confused uh i mean i made data store tutorials like at least a hundred times before okay, maybe not hundred times but because i've done it so many times i am going a bit more fast so if you want a really slow and in-depth tutorial definitely be sure to watch like my original uh actual data stores uh data uh data saving tutorial uh, i made like two one is for like the saving one value and then the other one is saving more than one value that's pretty much it but i will leave them uh should leave them down in the description if you want to uh watch them the original tutorials but yeah so save level will gain get a sync so this is gets oh, oh, i don't know why i did game so no sorry uh data get a sync and then we use player the player that join player that user id that user id the player user id and then we'll do we concatenate this with a string and we're going to call this level so this is the key so we know that uh this the data that's saved with this key is actually the saved level now all we did here is we got the saved value from when the player last played but if the player hasn't played the last time and hasn't hasn't uh hasn't had any saved values or stats this will be nil so we want to check if this is nil actually let's do the xp first uh xp first and then we can do the next part so saved xp will do pretty much the same thing so data get a sync again play that user id dot dot and then xp so we use this key so we can know this is the xp that's saved if there's no xp this will be nil so this will basically be a no like nil it won't really exist it won't have any value but if it does have a value that means the player actually has a uh, save xp right save stats all right so get a sync basically gets the i don't know it's kind of hard to explain but it gets the value that's stored in this key and whatever we want to store it in so this we can call it xp and in fact you can really call this anything it doesn't have to be xp like you can even spell it differently so you can even call this as long as you use the same key when you save it right so right here is when you load because the player has joined right we want to load the data right and this is how we get the data we oh, we load in we get the data from the when the player uh, last played so when you get this it's either going to be nil or not nil Nil meaning the player doesn't have any saved XP or saved level or any saved stats. And if it's not nil, then obviously the player has some saved stats. So we're going to do if saved level does not equal nil, then now you don't really have to do this. You can honestly do if saved level. It means the same exact thing. So if saved level, so if saved level doesn't equal to nil, same exact thing. You can really do either way and do this or this. Then we can actually implement the saved level into the player's leader stats. So we can all we all we need to do is really do level that value, which are level level stat we just made right here, and then we set it to the saved level that was saved from the last time the player played. Equals saved level. Saved level is just the number, so whatever level it is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and then really. By default, it should be zero anyway, so we don't really need to make another if statement or an else if statement. So if it's not this, then it will automatically be zero anyways. And then we'll do if saved XP. Doesn't equal to no. Then XP that value equals saved XP. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Now, this is for the loading. Now, how do we save uh, the player sets? So we want to do this when the player leaves. Okay, let's make another uh, event. Game that players that player removing connect function and a player. So this is a player that was leaving. Oh, and before I forgot to tell you guys, if you want the data stores to work, please pay attention. Uh, I shouldn't have told you guys this early, but if you want data stores to work make sure you have api services api services enabled and i'm pretty sure you have to have yeah you have to have your game published right save and i think my game is already published uh it should be oh no no that is not public it doesn't have to be public actually but it does need to be published so just publish your game actually right here publish to robots mine's already published so that's no problem 
But yeah, just make sure you have that in case it doesn't work for you. All right. So now the player is removing. So local XP equals player dot leader stats dot XP. And this should be right, right? Player dot leader stats dot XP. That's how we reference it. Okay, and local level equals player dot leader stats dot level. I don't think this is, hold on a minute. Oh, this is in level, sorry. Um, XP is actually, so XP is actually in, inside the level value. I forgot what we did here. So it's in leader stats, it's actually in level, level dot XP. And that should be it, that should be it, okay. So now we got the values. Now, how do we save it? All we have to do really is the same thing here, except we use set async. So set is when you set something to the player's key. And in this case, it's the stats. So level and XP, right? So we can, we can actually, we should do it in a pcall function just because in case something goes wrong. And if it does go wrong, we don't want the entire strip to break. So we'll do local success, this error, Let's do this for short. Um, these are just two variables for the pcall function. So pcall and then function. And then press enter. You can put a function in here and it either returns a success or error message. So if it's an error, it will actually you can uh, make it tell us what the error is. And that's without breaking the entire script. So that's why we use pcall function because data sort are kind of essential. So we'll do uh okay hold well, on I mean, yeah so just data so the data store set async same thing as get async except instead of loading we save right and then we do the same thing player dot user id and then use the same key remember use the same key so in this case in this case let's level and then we have another parameter instead and it's basically all we have to do is put the Put the value that we want to save. It's that simple. So level that value. All right. We do the same thing for XP. Data set is sync. Then player dot user ID. User ID. Put the key for the XP, which is in our case XP dash XP. And you don't really have to put dash XP. It's just there for the sake of conveniency or whatever. And then we save XP XP that value. And that's pretty much it. So in this case, if it does have an error, we do if error, then warn error or print error, whatever. Uh, hold a minute. Oh, oh my God. It's supposed to be equals. My bad. I don't know why I missed that. But yeah, so local success error. We uh, set this to a pcall function and then we use this right to save the values and in case it something goes wrong you know it's not that big a deal it doesn't break the entire script so that's pretty much it so this is when it saves this is when we load this is gets the saved value from the from the player's key in this case level for level xp for xp same thing here level for level xp for xp and that's pretty much it so it should work so let's actually save this let's play and let's see if this works or not. Okay, so right now we are level one. So I think what we did is we made it so it gives us XP when you touch it. So let's actually level up to level two. Let's actually get one more. So we know we're at two XP in level two. So let's stop. And then well, we didn't actually make any print statements, but let's see if it works. Oh, no, we're back to level two. Something happened here. Hmm, let's see what... Okay, I don't really know what's wrong. Okay, so apparently data stores don't really work well on Studio, but it does work well on the game. So, as you can see, I'm level three now, so I tested this, I tested this a, uh, a bit, and it actually does work like completely differently in actual game than Studio. And I actually had this problem before, so I'm not really surprised. But basically, I can show you guys right now. So I'm actually getting, I'm getting XP right now. Now, actually, let's try to level 
up. Then it's gonna take a while, but we're gonna do we're gonna go to level four, and then we're gonna leave and join back. And it pretty much works flawlessly on on the actual game. So right now, okay, we're level four right now. Let's leave, join back, and it should work perfectly. So I don't know. Apparently, it's just a studio thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's see how this works. Let's let it load. All right, all right. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit like. So as you can see, we're at level four. So it did save, uh, and the XP also saved. So uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you want more, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, definitely helps me out and motivates me to make more tutorials like this one. Uh, if you want, you can join our Discord server. Just in case, maybe you want some help. I don't know. Maybe some other people can help you. Um, if you want actually good suggestions, um, anything other than like the round system tutorial, because I really kind of, it's it's really, it's an old thing, man. I don't know. I don't really do round system tutorials anymore because I made way too much round system tutorials. But a few here and there, maybe. I'm not sure. I might think about it, but not something like totally ridiculous. You know, totally specific and ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like, don't ask me to make. Uh, how to make a gun system. I don't know how to make guns. Trust me, bro. I don't know how to make guns. Uh, but, but yeah, actually, I just realized um, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I got a crown now. Uh, the golden crown of O. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, that's pretty, that's pretty much it for this video. If you want more, make sure you subscribe. We're actually so close to 1,000. I'm actually really happy for you guys. I'm really happy for you guys and for me, guys. For what, are, what what the hell did I say? I'm happy for me and for you guys because you guys are helping, right? You guys are helping me and then I'm I'm helping you guys. So it's pretty much a win-win. So yeah, we're almost to 1K. I don't know. What do you, what, should, what should we do in 1K? What should we do for 1K sub special? I don't know. Do something. Maybe we should make a like, special video or something. But yeah, I really, I really need to thank you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see, I'll see you maybe in a special video. So yeah, in a 1K special.